And I look up and then I see, oh, hey, hello there. I sprinted away, like fast, vaminos, vaminos. Hey, Jack Jess here. It's been a minute. What's up? <laughs> Gotta pretend like I didn't fall off the face of YouTube for um quite a while now. But I'm back, you know, I'm just trying to film when I can. In this video, I'm just gonna talk, um, just see like where my heart goes and like where I want to update it. Yeah! <laughs> oh, feels good to be back. Okay, uh, where do I start? First of all, I'm really, really fortunate to be living in this apartment right now in Spain. My dad bought it a little while ago and I've spent about a month here and I'm gonna be headed back tomorrow. I honestly said that I was gonna film more of the trip. I filmed little snippets for you guys. I definitely could have done more, sorry. For this whole month now, I've just been taking time for myself. Also eating left, right, center. Um, my coach, when I said I wanna get back into my routine, he said, how about poutine? <laughs> yeah. I wanna talk a little bit of like general life update. Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> oh, story time. This is something I'm, I'm really, really proud of because I have been more of a, a shy, a shy queen, shy girl for most of my life. And then, especially when it comes to guys, uh, <laughs> all my friends know that I don't know how to flirt at all. I'm very quirky, I'm a little bit awkward, but that's just my personality. My friends have tried to help me be kind of sly and things like that, but that just doesn't work because that's just really not who I am. But I mean, it works for them just great. It's fine, but for me, I'm just really honest. I'm very upfront. Let me, let me set the scene for you, okay? Okay, we're getting into Morocco. We were actually driving in a car to get to the ferry and it was a very long travel time so I was I was very tired. I was walking around like <sighs> why is it so hot? My brother's roasting me because like are oh, you finished training? Why are you so why are you being so lazy right now? I walk up the stairs, I have my suitcase and I look up and then I see oh, oh. and I was like, who is this man? He noticed me first, but he was like, Hi, how are you doing? Good? And I was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm great. How about you? And like, Oh! <sighs> wow, this man's. Who is this man? So he proceeds to load up my stuff, kind of standing there like, mm, Okay, okay, you know. And then I notice when he took all my brother's stuff, he was. Uh, I'm so nitpicky about the details. Yeah, I noticed when he picked up my brother's stuff that. He just let my brother kind of get the stuff and go. But then when he took mine, he took it off. Oh. <laughs> and he walked it right into the lineup. Okay, hello. Um, <laughs> you can see this chick does not know how to flirt, but that's okay. That's kind of just part of who I am. <gasps> who is this man? As we're standing in the line, I keep looking back at him like, oh, what a fine man, a rocking man, you know? <laughs> yeah. This story just makes me flutter every time I think about it. I'm just really telling you guys to YOLO. But then I kept thinking, I told my brother, yo, I actually think that that guy at the front is really, really cute at security. I said, what, what if I just call him handsome or something? Which I did already before in this trip. What if I just call him handsome? Will he like me? I, I thought he was gonna be there and I was about to do it, but I chicken out like a little chicken. And then next morning I saw him. That was him. I went up to him and I said, Hi, I just had to tell you you're very handsome and I ran away. This bitch ran away. No, the story does not end there. I saw him from my peripheral vision. No, I was staring at him, but I couldn't look at him because I was so embarrassed of what I just did. So I saw him creeping up into the doorway. So this is the area where he's checking the bags. And then there's a little door here to get to the entrance. And I said, mm, why, is he, why is this man peeping in the doorway? Is it for me? Like, is he looking at me? But I went on my phone and I was too close to do anything. Then I went and I, I was so nervous to even go into the car because I knew I would have to see him when his manager was there. So I look at him, I give him a little hee. <laughs> no, I get back on the last 
hour that he's there and I wasn't gonna do anything but saw him coming to the doorway again oh I didn't see you doing that earlier huh <laughs> so I saw him getting into that doorway mom should I do it should I do it should I just should I just ask for the Instagram you know what's the worst that can happen my brother said do it just do it just because I know he's off at 7 because the day before I went back at 7 and wasn't there and it was a blessing that he wasn't even there the second day I was shaking I saw him I said hi what's your name he said Mohammed oh I'm Jess and then I said do you have Instagram he said phone number or Instagram and I was like this man was willing to give me his phone number And then, so I couldn't even open up my my phone. I pulled up the notes pad for him to put his number in and then he just changes it to put his number. And then as he's doing that, I'm, I'm just like <laughs> I was getting more adrenaline than I got when I'm doing PRs at the gym, okay? Yeah, it's that intense for me. I don't know how to talk to guys. <laughs> then I almost drop his phone. <laughs> I, can you believe this girl finally get the number but then almost break his phone i can't with myself i can't with myself <sighs> okay so i almost dropped his phone and then this bitch sprints away i sprinted away like fast vaminos vaminos away to the elevator and I said oh my god I got his number and I was so happy with myself what are you supposed to do when you get someone's number that's kind of so you can call them to hang out but you see I was leaving the next day it did not occur to me in that situation where I was having so much adrenaline to ask what are you doing tonight I freak out I go up to my room and then I go back again and he's not there I thought I missed my chance I don't know what this man does after work, but I thought I just blew it for myself. I finally got his number and I didn't know what to do with it. So I call him right away and then he hangs up. I think he was busy at the time. I don't know what happened, but my heart was pounding. Boom, 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 boom. What do we do? What do we do? I had faith that we were going to meet that day. And then, <laughs> and then I waited, I called him and then uh, something to do with the connection, but it didn't really work. For an hour and a half, I was showering, getting ready, manifesting that hopefully I will get to meet this guy. Okay, but I've only seen the top half of his face. I'm not trying. Okay, let's be real, guys. Like all of us are a little bit like you know we're superficial. We look at the, at the looks to a certain extent. And I've only seen the top half of his face. Only the top half. So I said, you better not be a mask fish. But you know, I'm down to have a good time. For an hour and a half, I just. Wait, da, 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 da. get my brother to hold to check my phone as I'm showering to see if he calls me back. And then at 8:30, no, that's not the time my phone makes. But the I want my phone. I say hi, pretty. Ah! <laughs> Call me pretty. It said hi, pretty. Oh my god. He thinks I'm pretty. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. But I don't know where this man is. He's not replying to me right away. So I said hi. What are you doing tonight? And he says, How are you? Did my question of what are you doing tonight just get ignored or... And then he said... <laughs> I did my question of what are you doing tonight? Did you just ignore that? Do you not want to see me? He said he doesn't really speak English that well. So he didn't even understand me when I said he's handsome. That's why. I thought I got rejected because this man just kind of looked at me like, thanks. He said, okay, like, whatever you want, princess, or something. I was like, oh my god, he called me princess. Oh. I was like, oh, 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 I gotta go. And then my dad almost didn't let me go out. And my mom is such a G. She helped me so much. She's like, Jess has been really wanting to go out with this guy. Come on, like, it's just one night. And that was so cute. The way he looked at me, I almost melted. Let me just set the scene for you. He's walking outside, where are you? And then I see him. Oh, he's even cuter without the mask. And then he just looks at me like, you're so gorgeous. And I'm like, oh, I, just, I, just, oh. 
I just melted. I miss him. He was so wholesome. He was shaking. It was so cute. I thought I was shaking before, but then I, he asked me to hold hands. On this date, we had to use Google Translate for everything. He doesn't speak any English. I don't speak any Arabic. It was pretty worth it at the end. It was really cute. He even bought me the cute little balloon thing and the bros. For me, it's just really all about the gesture. It really means a lot. Uh, honestly though, I didn't think I could pull that man. I didn't think. But I just did. I just went for it. I just asked for his number. I called him handsome. Well, I'm really glad I, I got this nice night to remember. He seemed really happy to be with me and he cried when I left the next morning. I almost wanted to cry as well because it's really sweet. I wish I got to know him a little bit better before I left, but we do still keep in touch. It's really nice to meet people all over the world. But yeah, that was my little story.